Hello there, Danger Doodle here, and this video is created to test a hypothesis I have about the new weapons DLC. Can one warhead set off a chain reaction of multiple other warheads? So right here, I just have a chain of five warheads, and if you go into the logic, just so that you can double check that I am not cheating, you can see that it goes to only one warhead, while all others don't have anything. Now let's spawn this in and test whether or not that can cause a chain reaction with all others. Well, that wasn't very conclusive. It did sound like multiple explosions. However, the explosion seems so big that it might have been inside the blast radius. Let's go back and add a couple extra warheads to the back just to make sure that there isn't any tomfoolery or anything else happening that could potentially lead to this being misinterpreted. And there we go. We now have one giant chain and just so that you can see, it is logic only to one for the toggle button. So let's spawn this in and walk over and see whether or not it's just a certain amount or if all of them detonate. If only a small amount detonate, then that answers the question. So let's see. Whoa. Okay, that is a ton of lag. And it detonated all of them. Now we know that individual grids, if you have one warhead on it, be very careful because it can detonate a chain reaction of all of your warheads. But let's not stop here. Let's go one step farther. What happens when you not only have one chain of warheads, but two chains? Will this transfer over to another grid? All right, let's see this. It should lag in my game, but let's hope for the best. Oh, God, that's so laggy. Oh, wow, okay. That only detonated a single chain. That did not damage this one whatsoever, which is actually very surprising. So now we know. I hope this information helps you in your military endeavors with the new update. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.